Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Cabin by the Lake. It is the morning of day 15. I've got uh, three skill points to spend this morning. I'm putting two into strength, taking us to level 8. And I'm going to put the last one into the Daring Adventurer, gaining us access to better trader items and 5% more dukes. Alright, let's go clear out some zombies for Trader Joel. Looks like this job is going to be in Jersey, so that's fun. Let's search this car and then take it apart, because I am still on the prowl for some more engines. Another battery, but no engine. We need to get a generator bank. We got so many batteries. I'm being chased by a dog. Or I was. There's that little son of a bitch. He gave up. Hey, can you stop hitting the van, please? This thing usually has a good amount of books in it. Tech Junkie uh, increases the fire rate of robotic weapons by 10%. A trap book and two wiring books. I want to check the neighbor's mailbox. Well, we got an ATM here. Let's crack into that thing. I don't have any lockpicks on me, unfortunately, but we can beat into it. Shouldn't take us long, as long as we don't get interrupted too many times. Paper. Alright, let's just get to this job. Military truck. And we are being chased by a white. Uh, okay. Yeah, go in there, idiot. Murky water. Let's get the hell out of here. Mailbox. Let's see what we got here. Explosives book. Oh, grenades. We can craft those now. Morning bear. Here's a news dispenser. Just some paper. Here's the job. Oh, a crack a book. Well, that's nice. And a savage country. Who cares about that, though? We got a crack a book and it's wide open. Oh, can you say double loot exploit, please? There we go, workstation book. We need a vehicle book. Just one more unlocks the mini bike. Read that. Oh boy. Oh, she's a greenie. Mm -mm. Yeah. Back the fuck up, lady. You too, bitch. Damn, girl. Oh, jeez. Welcome to New Jersey. Okay. What else we got? Vehicle book. Bam. Mini bike. Oil and gas. Dude, that's fucking sweet. There we go. Crack a book crate right up there. Let's loot that, and then we will fire up this job. Armor book and a small gas tank mod and a cop at the door. Well, he's pissed off. Alright, fuck it. Absolute mayhem. Let's fire this up. And that resets everything. Uh, Duckbill mod for shotguns. Spear magazine. Damn it. That also resets the zombies that were in here. Yep. Come on, you little shit. I should probably be using the shotgun that I brought with me. Or the pistol. I brought two firearms, you know. Using them would be a good idea. Close that. Oh, there's a zombie in here. Not anymore. I mean, he's still in here. It's just his face isn't. Well, it is. It's just scattered about on the floor. Oh, we just unlocked the electrical fence, dart traps, and blade traps. Yeah, we need to get a, a battery bank, like I was saying before. Especially since we're having such a hard time finding engines. And uh, I already got a good amount of batteries in storage, so... Battery bank is definitely the way to go. Oh, I'll sell that. 
Need to find a pipe so we can repair that thing. I'm good on clothes. We gotta go through the dressing room here. Close that. Scrap those nails. We can get a pipe right here. There it is. Bam. Lockpick. Uh, anything there? No. Oop. Okay. Close that. Here we go. Second floor. Let's check behind this painting. Nothing. Elevator's locked. It looks like we got two ways to go here. Two different apartments. We'll start with this one. We got a rope here that goes all the way to the rooftop. So I guess this is the way to go, but... What was in that other apartment then? We'll go back and check. Uh, BDU pants? We're already wearing BDU pants. Yeah, this takes us... All the way up to the rooftop. There's Big Boy. Let's surprise his ass. He's up. And he's running. You fall back down. Oh, shit. Okay, see ya. Grab that rope. <laughs> All right. Come on down, you big bitch. Come on, jump. This bird stuck up there. I want to see big boy jump. Here he comes. Aw. That wasn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. Oh, that, that's fun. That wasn't bad. Uh, I'm going to go check the other apartment. Let's see what's going on over here. Is it a dead end or another way to go? Not sure. Let's close that door. Got a cooler out here. Some murky water. Oh, here's a ladder. That goes up. Possibly to the rooftop. All these zombies that woke up are probably scattered about now. Whatever. Any ones that may have fallen will we'll get on the way out. Yeah, this does lead right up to the rooftop. Yo, oh, shit. Oh, boy. Nice. Where's that other bird? There were two of them. Oh, shit. Yeah, parkour, bitches. Invest in it. Die, 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 die. Thank you. Oh, there's the other bird. We're heading back down now. Floor four. Two ways to go again. They both lead to the same place again? Maybe. Can I get a coffee? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shit. Okay. Let's see what else we got in here now. The other apartment had a spot to drop down to floor three. So before I do that, I just want to make sure we're not going to miss anything out of this apartment. We would have missed that dog. And he's part of the quest because we got to clear this place out. Okay, wants me to drop down here as well. I'm assuming both lead to the same place. So I'm just going to go this way. Hey, buddy. Over here. Shit. Of course, the... <laughs> I load both of my guns, and then I choose to use the crossbow, which is not loaded. Big hitter's book. Oh, I forgot to craft a level four baseball bat last night. I meant to do that. Uh, that's all right. Maybe we'll craft one tonight. I'll check and see uh, how close we are to unlocking the level five. And depending on that will depend on whether we craft one tonight or not. I mean, it's not going to be a big deal. 
between a level 2 bat and a level 4. You know, there's the loot. And here are a bunch of zombies. Holy shit. Oh, that was nice. Mm. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay. Good thing I brought that pistol, though. It's nice having a backup weapon. I'll sell the steroid. Take the plastic part. Looks like we still got a couple of zombies in the building. The area is not clear yet. So if they find their way to me, great. If not, once I'm done with this loot pile, I'll go find them. Almost missed this weapons bag. Sell the spear parts. And do I have another mod slot on here? I do. Perfect. Let's throw that in the crossbow. Should have one more zombie left. Looks like it's trying to make its way to me. We'll see. There's a little group down here. I don't know which one is is part of the... Uh, oh, shit. It was the biker. Damn, bird. Ooh, car. Okay, then. Let's deal with this little shit. Grab the bike. And see if we can get an engine. Nope. And we got two more tries here. It's just like my dad used to say. If at first you don't succeed, it's because you suck. There it is. Oh, someone's crafting a mini bike tonight. You've made my day. Um, here is your payment. Well, flaming arrows? Nah. I think I'm going to have to go with the steel here. Oh, here we go. Tier 3 is complete. Chem station. Oh, that's the winner. That's the winner for sure. Okay. You got an engine, Joel, by chance? Hey, you got grenades. Did I, how did I miss these last time? Taking all those. So with only one engine, I'm, I'm definitely going to go for the mini bike tonight. As much as I'd like to craft a second mixer... The mini bike is going to get us around town quicker so we can accomplish more things. Um, Safe in terms of another job, well, nothing he has is close. If it was a close buried supplies, I might be tempted to do that real quick. Um, tomorrow, instead of coming back here and doing a tier four for Joel, I think maybe we should go to Trader Hugh and start doing jobs for him. Because instead of doing one tier four, we could probably bang out like two or three tier ones for Hugh. And you get ammo for completing a tier one. So I think that's probably the better move. And it'll be the safer move too. Tier ones are easy. And look what we just had to deal with with that tier three in New Jersey. You really want to go back there and do a tier four? Probably get murdered. Here we go. Night 15. I'm pretty loaded up. I brought the AK with me just in case, but I'm going to mainly use the shotgun and the pistol. I uh, brought the Molotovs with me, that stack of grenades I picked up today. I have a couple pipe bombs left. I got to make more of those. I'm going to try and just hold them at the door the whole night. I mean, I know this is a pit base, but what the hell? If I can hold them back behind a wooden door, I'm going to do it. 
Hot potato, bitches. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. That is determination for you. Well, I got the mini bike crafted. We'll get that thing put down in the morning. And then, like I said, we're going to cruise up to Trader Hughes and uh, see what his inventory looks like because all the traders do restock tomorrow. And then we're going to do some tier one jobs for him. Hopefully get some ammo as a reward. And uh, I've got enough gas to fill the tank of the mini bike, but not much left after that. So we're going to have to take some cars apart for gas tomorrow. However, I do have, you know what? Shit, I, I forgot. I put down a chem station this evening. I do have some oil shale in inventory. And we did unlock the gas recipe, so I will get some gas crafting after the horde. But still, we'll want to take some cars apart, not only for more gas, but hopefully for another engine, so I can make a second mixer. Whoops. That got him. I gotta be careful when I move away like that, that all the zombies run away. I didn't feel like getting blown up by that grenade, though. Now, speaking of oil shell, now that we got a mini bike, we can cruise down to the desert and mine some more of that shit, so we always have Molotovs on us. And, you know, I've seen a lot of comments come in. A lot of people want me to do a restore power job, or try to do one, while the horde is active. But the whole point of this challenge is to hold down the horde every night at the base. But, if you guys want to see me try and go do a restore power job one night instead of fighting the horde here at the base. I'm open to doing that. It's going to be fucking dangerous as hell, but shit, that's like my slogan. <laughs> you know? I'll try it. Man, those grenades are effective as shit, huh? Need to craft more of those. We did unlock the recipe today. Shit, I just heard a cop, and there's some cop puke. Finally, our first cop on night 15. I don't see him. Maybe that grenade took him out. Oh, you guys are real close to breaking it. Oh, too bad. There's another cop. There we go. Rather him not blow up at the door, you know? Oh shit, he's getting up. He is not dead. Now he might blow up. I don't even see him. Oh, that might be another one. Dropping them down in the pit right now wouldn't be a bad test to see, but not gonna do it. Unless I have to. I'm gonna try and hold them at the door like I said. Oh, I think he's going to blow up. Yeah, he is. Didn't even destroy the door. Oh, I think that's it. Other than the bird, or birds. Let's uh, take a quick look at our stats. We are level 39, game stage 63, 2048 enemy kills. Let's go kill some birds now. Excuse me, dogs. All right, just one. Duke collectors are intact, and here are all the loot bags. Ammo, goldenrod, brass, bunch of shit. Bunch more shit. 10% more dukes and cash in safes. Okay. And registers and ATM machines. I like that. 
Let's grab these shovels. Take everything else. Some food, monies, bolts. Whole bunch of shit. Starting to get a lot of steel. That's good. That is the next step in our base. Um, the goal for workstation books was 75 to... Un no, 75, I'm sorry. That unlocks the crucible. 50, I believe, unlocks the chem station, but doesn't really matter because we got a chem station already. There's a recog. That's good. Didn't have one of those tonight. Uh, I think that was maybe our light fixture out here that fell and broke. That's why there's some iron right there. Uh, there are no loot bags down in the pit because the zombies did not make it inside tonight. Well, pretty fucking sweet night. Day 15 of a Horde Every Night series, and we held the zombies back behind a wooden door. Pretty crazy. I think I'm going to bump up the XP to double XP starting in the next episode. Fuck it. Let's turn this up a little bit. Give me that mini bike, and I gotta get all this stuff put away and organized. Do a little bit of repair work outside, upgrade some more of this cobblestone to concrete. Uh, and we will pick things up here on the morning of day 16. Like I said, we're gonna go see Trader Hugh, do some jobs for him. If we have any coin left over after we buy all his shit, we'll stop at Joel's on the way home. Check his inventory because it does restock tomorrow. Also, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin by the Lake and I will catch you guys in the next episode.